this is the stuff I did this week. I'm kind of rusty. I, I took all summer off of lure painting because I kept getting these little bugs. You know, my epoxy. You can see one right there in the video on that uh, purple topwater lure. I don't know where they come from. When I paint the bait, they don't show up. But boy, when I epoxy them and turn that wheel on, they come out in droves. And I don't know if the epoxy draws them or whatever the case may be. I just know for some reason they show up. Anyway, this is uh, this week's offering. I just, I was a little rusty. You know, it was, it was kind of a getting back in the groove for sure. Of course, it's a lot of fun. I have a good time doing this. Now I'm going to do a video here in the future. Shortly, I think it's not going to be how to paint lures. I may do that too in the future because anybody can paint a lure. It's how to get paint on a lure. The journey I took and, you know, all the trials and tribulations that I occurred, which, you know, may, may, maybe some folks don't have that, but I did. Trust me, uh, getting into this hobby, I, I, I wanted to throw that paintbrush through the wall, that air, airbrush through the wall several times, but. It wasn't, a, it wasn't the airbrush, it, it was me, it was the paint, it was my ability to understand what the paint needs to be done, what the paint needs to do, and I, I figured it all out, but that journey may be interesting to new painters, so you don't fall into that uh, abyss and lose your temper. Alright, well that's my video for, uh, for now. Everybody take care and, and have a great day, and uh, Life's worth living and live every day like it's your last. Thank you. Bye-bye.